morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to the best season of all. Um, and I'd like to welcome all of our distinguished guests, and then we'll introduce our precious guests. Um, I'd like to welcome New Jersey State Assemblyman Michael Ganimore, right? Hi. New Jersey State Senator Parker Space. New Jersey State Senator Doug Steinhardt. Former New Jersey State Senator and our friend Steve Oroho. <laughs> Director of the Sussex County Board of Commissioners, Jill Space. <laughs> Sussex County Administrator, Ron Tappen. <laughs> President of Sussex County Community College, John Connolly. <laughs> Helen LaFroy from the Town of Newton. The Newton School District Superintendent, Dr. Joe Pecorello. And the New Jersey Department of Education Child Study Team Supervisor for Sussex County, Adam Kendler. And I don't know if the Chief Elf of Stocker Bus Company is here, but I'm hoping she'll, she'll join us. Denise, Denise Parent. And from Selective Insurance Company Senior Communications Manager, Kate Willigrew. We also have the talented and beautiful women of Harmony in Motion, and our friends Tammy Horsfield from the Sussex County Chamber of Commerce, Patty Wachowski and Jessica Sarno from Casual Lawn, Matt Coolidge of Units, who lent us that great unit over there to store our toys in, and Sergeant Jared Zappa from and of course, we have our special guest, Santa and Mrs. Claus. And we would not be here without the dedicated and visionary Board of Directors of Project Self-Sufficiency, Rhoda Sider, Sue Murphy, Steve Fernandez, thank you all for coming, and the heart and soul of PSF, our staff. So many of you have been here before for this very special kickoff, but we've never had the pleasure of having Little Sprouts come and serenade us. So this is very special today. So our Little Sprouts are a preschool classroom for Little Sprouts, and we're a Newton preschool as well. Under the direction of Noreen and Jackie Clark and Leanne, sorry, e -E. Okay. Thank you. 
And finally, the toy shop demystifies reaching out for help. Parents know that there's a place to go where they will be respected, not judged, and where they can get access to the tools they need to take the next step towards self-sufficiency. So when the waters get choppy, which often happens well too often for families living in poverty, they will remember PSS and reach out. The toy shop creates community, and community creates resilience and safety. The goodwill of the season of hope is infinite. The season of hope is about belonging. We all want our neighbors to know that they belong here. This includes families that use our toy shop. It includes our neighbors who drop off toys or a warm coat or both. It includes our businesses and our schools who do humongous toy drives. It includes our families and our friends who can spare half a day or the whole weekend to volunteer. It includes you, and we could not be more fortunate to have you all standing up to make this community stronger. And so we are so grateful for you coming here today, and we want you to come back. The excitement builds every day from here on in as we get closer to the big day. Thank you for joining us to celebrate the first day of the season of belonging, a community of hope. Thank you for being part of this miracle. And now, we have a lot of guests that have taken time out of their busy schedule to come and say a few words. And I'd like to introduce uh, Michael and Ganimort first. Mike, come on up. So if the speakers could come up a little bit. Good morning. Thank you very much, Deborah. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, and appreciate all of you being here this morning. Uh, if, if the little sprouts were still here, I was going to share some good news. I am confident, as I'm sure all of you are, uh, that Santa Claus heard them this morning because they sang so well and so clearly and so loudly. I have no doubt that it carried way up to the North Pole. And uh, Santa is getting just as excited as we are and, and they are. So. Uh, thank you uh, for everything that you are doing to help uh, ensure that these little sprouts from Sussex County and Northern Warren County have as happy and healthy and safe uh, and hopeful a new year, uh, excuse me, a Christmas uh, and Hanukkah as, as the rest of us. So we are, we are so proud to be a part of this. Uh, as Deborah said, we have an enormous list of speakers today who are far more impressive than me. So I'll simply say that on behalf of my colleague in the Assembly, uh, Assemblywoman Dawn Fantasia and Senator Parker Space, who we're going to hear from shortly, uh, we are proud to partner with you. We are proud to be a part of this process to add some toys to, uh, to the tree and to certainly come back when this building becomes a, where, uh, a workshop, Santa's workshop. So thank you again. Congratulations. And uh, we'll see you in December. Great. Thank, thank you. you. Senator Space, come on up. Thank you. And thank you for inviting me. Like Mike said, the little sprouts are what, you know, what Christmas is all about. Definitely starts to spear a uh, great bunch of little kids. And I'm always impressed with Project Self Sufficiency on all the different services that they provide for all the range of people, you know, throughout the county here in Sussex and Warren County. But obviously, with the toy drive, it's so important this time of year to make sure the kids have something in their stocking or under the tree uh, so we can all be into the Christmas spirit. And I commend, you know, you and everyone here very much for all the hard work, all the volunteers. It definitely takes a community to come together to, to, to provide, you know, for the children. And obviously here in Sussex and Warren County, you know, we're all united. Uh, we want to make sure the kids have a Merry Christmas and, and a happy holiday season. So thank you. Thank you. Senator Steinhardt. Thank you very much. Thanks, Debbie. Um, you know, as many of us have the opportunity to make our way around the state and attend different things, uh, they all tend to stir uh, different senses and invoke different emotions. And this one just always warms your heart and, and makes makes me smile. Uh, and I think in no doing in no small part to the fact that in a world that seems altogether more polarizing and complicated and, and often combative, uh, you can come here and appreciate uh, the generosity and the love uh, that Debbie, you and your team uh, provide through through the Season of Hope and here at Project Self Sufficiency, so that all of us can be a part of that here today. Uh, it's just a wonderful thing. So thank you all for coming. Thanks for being here. And Debbie, to you. Thank you for all thank that you, you. Do. So that you do. Thanks. Thank you, Senators. We're really working closely with Senator Steinhardt on our Warren County Outreach Programs. Steve, Senator Orwell. Deborah, thank you so very much. How great were the little sprouts, Deborah, and all the and all the people, right? 
Well, look, everybody here working at Project Sussex, thank you so much. And as a, as, a, as a former legislator, I am great to see all my colleagues that are here. Why? Because it's so important. And it's hopefully about the season of hope. Um, it's, a, it's the season, but Project Self-Sufficiency does it all year long. And just think about making a permanent season of hope of what they do. And as a, as a former elected official, I just want to say thank you very much for inviting me to come here today as just an ordinary guy, right? <laughs> so thank you so much for everything. Let's make the season of hope a permanent season. God bless you all. We love you. Definitely. We're making Steve a permanent. <laughs> um, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Jill Space, the director of the Sussex County Board of Commissioners. Thank you. It's such an honor to be here and represent the, the Sussex County Commissioner Board. We want to thank Project Self Sufficiency for everything that you've done for the families. We know the holiday season is very stressful for the parents of the children because the children are putting out all their wants and they don't know how they're gonna fulfill them. But giving the parents an opportunity to come here and pick out their gifts for their children, I mean, it seems like something so minimal to some of us, but then to see that you guys do this and gives them some pride and normalcy. Yeah. So thank you for all you guys do all year long. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, Ron Tappen, County Administrator. Thank you, Debbie. Wow, what a great day. Yeah, it's beautiful, it's my favorite time of year. The air is cleaner, it's bright. What a great day to kick off the season of New Hope. Um, I can't tell you enough that I was just looking at the data. I didn't realize till this week how many children comes through this facility. Uh, Dr. Connolly, I'm sorry, I'm not a math major. I became an administrator, but at, at as many years as you've been doing this, as thousands of children have come through here. And it's, it's, it's absolutely, the, what I think about the most is that they come here and they get a spark or a nudge of behavior that they otherwise wouldn't have gotten that tells them and gives them the, the hope that they can go do whatever they wanna do when they leave here. And they wouldn't have gotten that otherwise by coming here. So to the staff of everyone at Project self Sufficiency, thank you for what, everything you do because if it weren't for you, these kids wouldn't get it either. So, as I always say, I am proud and privileged to be an administrator of the County of Sussex that has such a well-settled, reputative institution such as Project Self-Sufficiency. And as long as you allow me to come back again, I'll always say Sussex County is a much better place to be because of self-sufficiency. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ron. We could not do this season of hope if it wasn't for Sussex in so many ways. I'd like to introduce Helen LaFroy. Helen, from the town of Newton. Good morning, everyone. Um, I am here this morning representing the town of Newton as this year's current deputy mayor. Thank you very much for the invitation and for the opportunity for us to participate. Um, it is truly my pleasure to be here and to acknowledge and help kick off Project Self Sufficiency's annual season of Hope Holiday Campaign. For most families, the holidays represent an opportunity to gather with family and friends to express their love by sharing happy times, large meals, and exchanging gifts. The ability to give gifts to others is truly a blessing, one that should be shared if you have the ability. And dare I say, for those that can, we have the responsibility to share with others that are less fortunate. And for many families in our community, the holidays invoke stress, feelings of anxiety, and thoughts of despair, knowing that one must make the decision between paying the rent, putting food on the table, paying for the utilities, or buying gifts for their children. Inflation, the job market, the cost of housing, the increase in mental health issues, the rising cost of food and basic needs are significantly impacting families right here in our community, in Newton, throughout Sussex County, and in Warren County as well. The Season of Hope Holiday Program and the campaign helps to alleviate that stress, the anxiety, and the despair, if even for just a couple of days. Thank you to Deborah, Barry Toon, and all of her elves, those known and unknown, that are helping to create hope, and year after year, providing this wonderful program for Sussex and Warren County families. 
to all of the schools, the corporations, the civic organizations, churches, parent groups, Boy Scout troops, Girl Scout troops, and individuals, and everyone else who's providing toys, gift cards, and monetary donations, you are making a difference in our community. By making a donation, you are providing hope to those that are hopeless. The ability for parents and guardians to choose gifts for their children is empowering. We hear firsthand from so many that are shopping in the boutique that if not for this program, they would not be able to provide a holiday for their children. And so to Project Self-Sufficiency, thank you for being such an incredible resource to our community, not only during the holidays, but certainly throughout the year with all of your programs and services, services that are just make such an impact to so many. We are blessed and grateful to have you here in the town of Newton and in Sussex County and serving Northwest New Jersey. Thank you for thank this you project so and all, all others throughout the year. Thank you so much. Thank you, Helen. Dr. John Connolly from Sussex County Community College. The college is an integral part of Season of Hope. Not only do they bake cookies uh, for 2,000 families, we could not do the Season of Hope, and uh, Sergeant Zappa is going to talk a little bit about that, without the college allowing us to park uh, and really commandeer the lot for two, two full days in December. I like giving you the lights, too. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, the lights. We like the lights. Uh, what extraordinary partners uh, project self-sufficiency is not just for the college but the entire community and when I say community I do mean Sussex and Warren County um, you know it's only in a place like Sussex and Warren that a place like an entity like project self-sufficiency is possible and what they have dedicated what Deb and the entire crew and the board have dedicated their time and energy to is frankly generosity charity Graciousness? You know, these are values to what Senator Steinhardt was talking about before. They're in short supply now. And there's something special about that sort of a statement to say, you know, just be generous. Now, what we're talking about here is about gifts and toys, and it's incredibly important because of all the reasons that have just been enumerated. But if we would all just be a generous of heart with and to each other, it's about the sentiments we all have, but it's about putting them into action. And that's what's so different about all of this. Good words followed by good deeds. And what we have at Project Self-Sufficiency with the Season of Hope is the translation of intentions into actions. And not just here at Project Self-Sufficiency. How many people give toys? Thousands. Thousands of people give of themselves, they come over here with the toys. They drive over here. It's not an Amazon thing that's going on here, okay? And so there's something incredibly special about that. And so the good intentions becoming good actions or good deeds is what makes this extraordinary. It's only really possible here. And thank you, Deb, for leading all of this. Thank you, John. John mentioned the lights. John gives us lights for our Thanksgiving food distribution so that it's not dark when families come. And then those lights light up our parking lot for the season of hope. Um, I'd like to introduce Dr. Joe Pecorello and Adam Kindler. And I want you to know they're here to get this trophy. <laughs> That's what they're here for. Uh, Newton has been trying to get this trophy for a very long time. <laughs> it's very shiny, isn't it? <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> Well, thank you okay. so much. Um, good morning, friends, colleagues, guests. Uh, this holiday season is here, and it is incredible to believe. It's chilly this morning, but I'm told that Halloween will be 80 degrees, which means <laughs> I need to change my uh, costume design. But um, seriously, I look forward to this every year. I'm honored to have been invited again, and thank you so much to Project Self-Sufficiency for annually providing this great opportunity and this great kickoff event. So, my name is Joe Piccarillo. I'm the proud superintendent of the Newton Public Schools, um, where we serve 1,600 students right down the street. Some of them we're singing today. Um, and I'm also here today on behalf of our Superintendents Roundtable <coughs> Association, for which I serve as the president. So, um, just very proud to support the efforts of Project Self-Sufficiency and the annual drive. Um, 
As superintendents and educators, we interact with countless families throughout, the, uh, throughout each of our day, and we know firsthand how many of them are struggling to make ends meet. We're grateful for the work of Project Self-Sufficiency because we're particularly grateful that they just help all of our uh, less fortunate families in like a 360 degree effort. Really, they're, they're just always here for us. The first thing I said when I saw uh, Debbie today was, uh, it, it, it doesn't feel like it's been that long since we've uh, spoken because we work together all the time, our district and Project Self-Sufficiency. Um, but for this season of hope, Sussex and Warren County Schools, yes, we're all fighting for this uh, beautiful Stanley Cup. And as, <laughs> as early as October 1st, our communities start to come together to donate toys. So you already heard it's about almost 40 schools already. So we're nearing that record, which I think is in the mid 40s. So when there's more schools that participate, there are more toys that are donated, and then there are more students that are positively impacted. So sure, all of our school districts, we get competitive over this. Boy, I would love Newton to win, um, but, <laughs> but um, really, it's, it is really about hope and what this uh, provides. And that is, after all, what education is about. It's about the possibility of what we can be. It's about dreaming, aspiring, reaching, and transforming. And it all begins with that glimmer, that small spark of hope. And all of you here, through the work of Project Self-Sufficiency, are helping to put that spark in the hearts of children this year. So in closing, on behalf of Sussex County Superintendents Roundtable Association, the educators of Sussex and Warren Counties, thank you for donating your new unwrapped gifts and gift cards uh, for our Project Stuff the Stocking event. And thank you to Project Self-Sufficiency for the wonderful holiday tradition that we are here to support for our local communities. Thanks. Go Newton. Go Newton. <laughs> Good morning. Dr. Carrick sends her regrets that she's unable to be here, but I'm pleased to represent the Sussex Office of Education. We are incredibly grateful to Project Self-Sufficiency for all that you do throughout the year in the Sussex and Warren communities, especially during the holiday season. The annual participation of our schools in the toy drive is truly remarkable and a testament to the giving spirit of our community. On behalf of the Sussex County Office of Education, we are gratified to be a part of this wonderful event and cause. Thank you so much. Um, so I think we had nearly 40,000 toys collected last year from the over 40 schools. And Denise Stocker and Stocker Bus Company picked up all those toys. And those drivers volunteered their times. They spent an entire week going school to school, picking up the toys and counting each and every toy. Joe, counting, counting. So we thank Denise for everything that she does. We, Denise also is the volunteer bus driver to for all of the people that park at the park and ride in newton our 500 volunteers can't park here and so denise picks them up gets them here gets them back and picks up the next crew so this truly truly is a wonderful wonderful community event so all those toys are matched by toys that we get from the united states marine corps and we're thrilled to have them here today you want to come up and say a few words Good morning, everyone. Yeah. My name is Stefan Provalo. I'm uh, with the Marine Corps, representing for Toys for Tots Foundation. Um, so I've been with the Marine Corps about nine years, but I've only been um, participating with Toys for Tots directly for about three years. And I have to say that that has been the most, one of the most rewarding things that I've been a part of within like my nine year career. So I am so appreciative to be a part of this and Thank you, um, Project Self-Sufficient, for even involving us in this process. Um, this will be our 77th anniversary. Um, last year, we collected and donated over 250,000 toys. And that's because, so, thank you guys for so much for um, inviting us. And I can't, honestly, I can't wait to see what happens this
this year. But usually, yeah, usually um, I'm behind the scenes. I've never like, you know, come to these things. I'm always in the warehouse collecting toys, counting them. This is my first time, I'm a little bit nervous. But <laughs> thank you guys so much for inviting us. Thank you. We hope you'll come back during the toy shop. And we hope you'll all come back during the toy shop. It is an amazing thing to see and you are all welcome to come live music, watch our shoppers, get a bite to eat. So we'd love to have you all come. We couldn't do that unless we had police here directing the traffic. So Sergeant Tappa, could you come up and say a few words? On behalf of the new police department, thank you guys for having us here today to be a part of this. Uh, it is a phenomenal thing that you guys do for the community. And we are happy to donate our time along with other departments from the county. Uh, we assist with the parking. Um, and as you mentioned, the, the cars parked up at the college. And we have officers that are up there to help facilitate everything. And we have officers down here that help everything uh, flow smoothly through everything. So it's, a, it's an honor to be able to help and volunteer our time. Um, just can't say enough. It grows every single year. I can say that for a fact. So it's just great to see uh, what you guys do for the community and keep it growing. So thank you very much. And thanks for including us. with the chief on Monday afternoon to plan this year. <laughs> and as Sergeant Zappa said, it's the Newton police that coordinate everything, but we have police from every uh, department in New Jersey, all the towns, we have people from the sheriff's office, so it's really, really wonderful. And again, we could not keep it safe or efficient without, without the police. And volunteering their time is, is really, really amazing. So you see these bikes out here. Um, would you believe that some years we can give out 100 bikes? Can you imagine a child waking up on Christmas morning, and I always think of that mom and dad so proud to have that bike under the tree. And they do that because Selective Insurance Company does a bike-a-thon. And Kate Terwilliger is here to talk about the Build-A-Bike campaign. Kate? It took us a number of years to tell them, but they do this contest, and the first person that, the first team that finishes gets tr and rides it around, I guess, wins a pizza? or something like that. What we didn't tell them was they are put together so poorly that we have to have the Newton Robotics team come and put them together so that the kids don't fall off. Not engineers. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so at Selective, our mission uh, is to make a meaningful difference in moments that matter. When we think about the holiday season for kids and families and their parents, um, there are a few moments that matter more than Christmas morning. Um, we are so grateful to Project Self-Sufficiency for the Season of Hope toy drive, uh, which makes that moment, the holiday season, magical and joyful uh, for so many families in our community. And we are uh, proud to uh, contribute to the efforts. Uh, our Build a Bike event is now going in its 18th year, so for nearly 20 years, uh, Selective has hosted the Build a Bike event, which is a day of joy at our corporate office in Branchville, where teams of employees gather to race, to unpack, assemble, build, test drive bikes uh, for children of all ages. It's quite a sight. Um, and it's such a, a fun day and a flurry of activity, but the best part about it, hands down, is knowing that these bikes are going back into the community um, to kids and families that deserve them. Um, so again, we're, we're so proud to be a part of it um, and thank Project Self-Sufficiency for being such a positive impact in our community. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. And those bikes come with helmets, thanks to the generosity of the selective people. So, I know this is the part you've all been waiting for. These beautiful ladies who come out every year and serenade us with wonderful, wonderful Christmas songs, harmony and motion. They're going to come out right now. Here they come. Come on out. It's, our, it's Lisa's first call every year to make sure harmony can come. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We are Harmony in Motion, Sussex County's women's acapella group, under the direction of Jean Vecito. 
and we're so happy to be here with you today to share in the opening ceremony of this year's season of hope. Funding has been made available in part by the New Jersey State Council on the Arts, Department of State, a partner agency of the National Endowment for the Arts, through the State County Partnership Block Grant Program as administered by the Sussex County Arts and Heritage Council. Additional funding is provided by the Sussex County Board of Commissioners. We would like to take this opportunity to thank Project Self-Sufficiency, not only for having us here today, but also for extending to us the use of their facility for our weekly rehearsals, day-long retreats, and portable riser storage when necessary. Well, it's getting to be that time of year so many have been waiting for. The stores and homes will soon be coming alive with all the beauty and wonder of the season, and it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Toy Drive is a wonderful way to spread the love that's in our hearts and share the joy of gift giving with the children of our communities. Christmas was meant for children, children like you and me, with mistletoe and holly and toys of
Celebrating for the holidays can be a time of laughter, joy, and cozy memories. The traditions we share with our loved ones are special times that are treasured. Sometimes all we need is that little bit of Christmas.
I am here to talk to you about donations of toys. Anything you can think of for all girls and boys. Infants, toddlers, preschoolers, and school-age children up to teens, please make sure they are new and clean. Unwrapped is a requirement, as these gifts are Santa's sent. On Christmas morning, just imagine all the joyous faces. Families feel the love and support from so many people and places. You can drop off your items at PSS between 9 and 5 on any weekday, and we will be sure to thank you in every way. Your contribution to this event will not be missed. Our elves will get your information to thank you and be sure to assist. We have a list of gift ideas if you would like to review. Project Self-Sufficiency's Board of Directors, Executive Director, Staff, and the Community, and Santa Claus, Truly, thank you.